you suffered a head injury in a personal injury accident, you may also have what's called a traumatic brain injury. That means part of your brain was damaged in the accident and it shows up in ways that may not be apparent in an x-ray. For example, you might be having emotional issues. Maybe you're having outbursts that you would normally have. Maybe you're having nausea, dizziness, forgetfulness. Maybe your family notices a change in you. A lot of these things can be difficult to identify at first, but technology has come a long way in the last 20, 30 years, thanks in large part to the NFL concussion cases. And in those, a lot of technology is developed to diagnose traumatic brain injuries, such as diffuse temperature imaging, BMG tests, and other types of tests. And if you've suffered a head injury and believe you may have a traumatic brain injury, it's important that you understand what your rights are and what you may be entitled to, and that you're able to properly identify it, explain what happened, show how it was caused by the accident, and make sure you don't resolve a case without knowing your full amount of damages. You also wanna make sure if you've suffered a head injury that you work with a law firm that has experience dealing with traumatic brain injuries. These are not like a cookie cutter case. It's not the same if someone had a broken leg. You have to understand the medicine, the science, the imaging. You have to be able to explain to a jury in a way that makes sense. So if you have a case where you think you may have a head injury or a traumatic brain injury, I strongly urge you to talk to with a law firm with experience handling these. Feel free to reach out to us. We handle these cases all the time. We always offer free consultations. Thanks.